here guys um i've gotten look at her what how are you excited okay so um i started moving the jack in the box because the uh the new guys the new prop is finished um so i started moving the new prop i mean the uh jack in the box because it's sun damaged really bad the uh it needs to be repainted super bad and then like tarped um so i started moving it and like it fell off the dolly and a whole bunch of wasps came out and i was like oh crap what is what's up and i look in there there's a giant wasp nest so here's a little tip for you most people know this but for the people who don't um whenever you have wasps or bees or whatever like that especially wasps like they build a nest by your house or in your props um get a little cup like a plastic cup not a foam cup but uh pour some gasoline in it and then dump it on the wasps in their nest and it'll root it'll kill them instantly and the ones that fly away um it'll ruin their home so they'll never come back uh, it works so that's what i'm about to do also um a while back i never i don't think i ever posted the video um i moved the jack in the box once and there was a snake under it it was a bait like a really small grass snake um and i moved i moved it again from this spot and oh see i i'd taken that other grass snake to the field uh next door to storage and that grass snake came back, I guess, or another one was underneath it whenever I started moving it out. There was another, another uh, grass snake under there. It scared the crap out of me. But, you know. All right, so I've already started painting on the Jack in the Box. The whole front that said Jack in the Box was starting to peel away so I just ripped all those layers off and now I have a fresh clean layer well not really clean but a fresh layer um, and then here is like the paint on the sides just to show you how bad it is and that's on the top that's what I've repainted so it's looking a lot better guys all right to help me kind of get in the mood for painting this jack-in-the-box um, I wanted it to be identical to the carnival booth I want them all like kind of uh, design um, so that's what I tried to uh, stay to and uh, we got we got all of, uh, it's practically the same colors that's the main reason why I wanted it to be like that and uh, jack-in-the-box is almost finished let me show you this is what it originally looked like now it's a whole lot more simple just two colors instead of like nine different colors no harsh designs like smileys and all of that it's just a basic carnival booth setup on the inside it's got some swirls and stuff on the back plate and then even on the top So that's the Jack in the Box. There's the other guy. Um, the Haunted House this year. If it stays close to what these guys are looking like, the Haunted House this year is going to be pretty awesome. So I'm very excited for that. And uh, I got a bunch done. I got the Jack in the Box exterior and most of the interior done. Um, I just 
haven't done the front. I didn't want to crawl in there and have to do that today. Um, I'll do it probably tonight whenever I get off of work. Um, but as far as that prop, it's pretty much finished other than I need some neon spray paint, which I will pick up today at work. Um, be cool. Um, this guy though, soon I want to buy the a pneumatic uh, opener kit so I can make this guy open on its own. If you know anything that I could use, because um, like right now I'm looking on Fright Props and it's going to be like 250 for a, a uh, lid opener kit pneumatic. Um, if you know anything else that I could use that would be a lot cheaper or maybe that because I don't even know what pneumatic I would need there's like a whole list of options so if you know anything about pneumatics please go on their website look at all the options for that kit and let me know which one I should get for this guy um, knowing that how big it is I would like it to attach up here where all that expanding foam is and down there on that 2x4 um, so that it'll lift open and I can have a, a clown or something in here. Um, that's just what I want to happen. So, and I need it to play music and all of that kind of stuff. So, anything, guys, just let me know. Um, I think I'm going to use bouncy balls in this. Or, like, small marble. Or, like, the larger marbles. I'm not too sure which one I want to use. I'm going to look whenever I get off of work. Um, that's an advantage of working at Walmart. Not only do I know... Like, I can get stuff right after I get off of work, and I'm there every day, pretty much. Um, so anytime I need something, I can get it right then, as long as I have money. Another advantage is I help unload the trucks every once in a while. So getting around this time of the year, uh, when Halloween stuff comes in, I'll be the first one to know there's Halloween stuff sitting in the back of Walmart. Might be able to work something out where I can get stuff early. But, um, yeah, so I got a lot of work. A little bit of work to do still rusting um, on this guy and getting um, the neon spray painted along with the expanding foam and then this guy's done other than the uh, the laser that's gonna be put right here so whenever the ball passes through it honks the horns um, and then this guy obviously all the pneumatics and everything inside I probably should try and work on a clown tonight and make another clown that could go in there. I um, think I might do that or, you know, something. Figure something out. I might use my skeleton. Put my skeleton in there and, like, paint him with the neon spray paint. Might do that. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm excited. Okay, guys. So, I got the skeleton in and screwed together to the uh, back wall bent into shape where it's going to look right and work right um, here he is I still haven't spray painted him I haven't gone to work yet so I still don't have the spray paint but uh, he will definitely be like a neon green or something uh, this guy closes and his tailbone gets caught between the wood so it kind of like slows it down from slamming so I can just like let go and it doesn't slam as hard um, that's that uh, in the back his feet do hang out a little but that's fine um, I put some admission stickers along there but they're not really sticking that well so they made us come right back off but worth a try this isn't that so cool and all of that's just not that's not even a black light that's just a uh, that's just a blue party bulb and it's doing really good so